Hey there once again folks, welcome to another train simulator video. Sorry for the brief hiatus in videos, uh, we were in the process of moving into a new house. We are there, I am set up, and of course we are back on the Bergen line, continuing with it. And I'd like to point out, as of, I think, last week, late last week, this route was officially finalized so scenarios can be made for it in fact uh, I think a couple have been made already uh, anyway what we're gonna focus on in this quick video is gonna be the Pascack Valley line that runs up into New York anyway we're sitting in uh, a GP40 um, with the lovely CNJ livery um, it's a darn good-looking livery got a couple of buy levels back there they don't normally run up this line uh, it's not common but they have and do so anyway we're gonna run out to the line we're currently at Secaucus and then we'll get into it we already got our passengers on board Anyway, so yes, Minerman has finally finalized this amazing route, New York Division Bergen Line. Done several videos uh, on the line if you'd like to go back and, and uh, keep up to date with what we're doing here. Uh, please do go back and watch the other videos if you have not yet. Anyway, we're going to be heading to the Pascack Valley Line. It runs from Hoboken, which is where this train would have originated. Um, up into Spring Valley, New York. It's a it's a nice little single track kind of uh, suburban line, if you will, that runs north and south. Uh, NJT owns and operates it, as well as Metro North uh, leasing it from them as well. It's about uh, I want to say it's about 31 miles in in real life, and it's operated seven days a week, as far as I know. Um, now, as far as the line itself in the game, let's double check our pathing here, make sure we're golden. We are. As far as the line itself in the game, this is it right here. And you can see there's ton, a ton of industry back here as well. It's crazy. I didn't realize how much stuff was back here. I got some of it set up. But I'm, I'm going to take a stab at, like, uh, eight miles, maybe? Something like that. Anyway, we're going to run out there, and then we'll, uh, we'll get into it. Get into the nitty-gritty. do love this livery though, the uh, NJT Heritage Pack. This was um, on offer by True Rail Simulations. I don't believe it's currently on their site anymore, but uh, I hope they release it because it is a damn good pack. This old Jeep in the uh, Central New Jersey livery. All the little details on it. Definitely high res uh, logo and lettering, all the lights, complete with number boards. It just looks really good. They uh, they've got one for the 46 and the uh, 45 um, bimodal as well, but it's a really cool pack. And we're speeding. But yeah, so as it stands, um, people are making scenarios now. I'd like to check them out. May do so uh, in a video as well. 
just to uh, just to see what's going on. But hopefully, folks will continue to make uh, scenarios on this blessing of a route. I uh, I for one personally am not so good at stuff like that. I can I can set up a free roam or a quick drive and stuff like that. But scenario planning is not my forte, uh, unfortunately. Let's check our pathing once again. Good there. Dee -dee -dee. All right. Hopefully, this will branch us off. Fingers crossed. Here we go, run eight. Got a couple of miles to get up there. But anyway, this line we're headed to, uh, the Pascac line, or Pascac Valley, sorry. Um, it was originally the Hackensack and New York Railroad uh, back in like the mid 1800s. Um, Erie, of course, got in on it, grabbed it. Uh, just before the turn of the century. And then, of course, uh, Erie-Lackawanna merger was in 1960. And then, of course, after that, the whole Conrail, blah, blah. You know, we, we know the story. I've kind of gone over it a couple of times. All right, here's our turn off. a nice little area though it's 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 another one of those areas that's not the main line of the route but that does not matter because it is just fully detailed just all the way through all right I'll make sure I got this right here But anyway, as you can see, it is it is non-electrified, like uh, well, the rest of this entire area. So it's it's diesel power only. So it's it's Jeeps, uh, two cats, or the uh, bimodal uh, ALP45. But it's a cool little line, this. Um, it's not entirely... Eh. Never mind those double reds. <laughs> Alright, let's slow down a second. This is where we're going to start peeking at stuff. Just do want to make sure the pathing is gravy. Biscuits and gravy all the wavy. Sir, looks like we're good to go. Anyway, there is one passenger station down here. This essentially runs down to where the line ends in the game is Teterboro Airport. Um, it essentially runs down there. It's not modeled all the way out, um, but that's the general area. Uh, it kind of it kind of stops in the game where I think I eighty um, crosses over. But anyway, so you could run. You know, from out here into Hoboken with uh, NJT, whatever you want, um, or like I'm doing here, Hoboken to uh, I think it's called Woodridge is the passenger station. But there is a ton of industry, like I noted a moment ago. Um, just look at it; it is crazy. The first one we passed, eye candy and galore. That is. Back chow. Just got a little hopper sitting there, so that's right by the main line. But they get, uh, they get, I think, one car a week. Um, again, I would, I would highly recommend referencing the manual 
um, that he has cleverly crafted for the route itself. Here we got a uh, Norfolk Southern GP40-2, two GP40s. Very nice. So I just got this set up like he's working the uh, the industries back in here. Uh, let's see, this back in here we've got um, Haviland and U.S. Printing Inc. So probably box cars, some kind of hopper maybe uh, as far as the the ink. But man, look at all the barrels. There's a little spill. <laughs> That's not good. Some red ink on the ground. Looks like these two guys are trying to devise a plan to fix said spill. But again, with the, uh, the the custom buildings, as far as you can customize stuff, you know, within this, you can tell it's there's several buildings working here at once. And it's it's all this stuff on the top. This is what makes it look so great. These industrial areas, the, uh, the ducting, you know, for for ventilation systems and air conditioning and stuff like that. Like this right here is tip top. You hear the crickets back here. This is a, a heavily uh, marshed area back in here. In fact, there is a there's some sort of preserve back here, uh, a land preserve. Um, I can't remember the exact name at this time, but this is the uh, the ink place right here, and it looks amazing. Just heavily heavily detailed still all the way back here, and I love this marsh. Very nice looking. Here's your uh, your other turnout here. So this is East Rutherford Industry Lead. Uh, let's see, Berlin and Jones Marathon Corporation. Buckley Dunn Paper. Uh, let's see what's down here. Meehan Tucker. Tucker. All right, where am I at? I, I, I get turned around back here, honestly. There's so much stuff. Got a couple of reefers sitting here getting packed. It is a, uh, a food industry. That's what's cool about the manual he's made as well. It, it tells you all this stuff. So you, you know what to throw, you know, on these spurs and whatnot. The, uh, the frequency with, you know, like uh, how many times a week or a month, how many, uh, etc. Whether they're a consigner or whether it's being shipped. Um, mostly everything on this line, as far as I know are consignees. There are some shippers, but it's it's more uh, receiving than delivering, if you will. Even this loading bay right here looks good. The way that's set up. That is obviously not a, you know, a building that you can just grab out of the assets. Once again, it's several, making it look mo better. Got another spur down here. It just keeps going, man. There's so much stuff out here. And it's not just, you know, concrete laid down with a, a couple of cars. You know, it's it's done up time and time again. Got these old uh, spools sitting over here, emptied. Container, ton of pallets, a couple of trucks. Another uh, mishmashed building to make a better building. Street dead ends right here on the marsh. This is a really pretty area. Like it. Liking it a lot. Place is pretty massive. Alright, there's our train going slower than F. Or slow AF shall we say. Alright, this place right here is probably the largest consignee and shipper on this little branch line in the game. Dubois. Uh, it's a chemical company. So of course we've got a couple of hopper uh, tanks sitting back here. And once again, the, the immaculate attention to detail with all this stuff. You know, with what you're given across three routes yeah, in the US and EU assets. And he has still created this. It looks really damn good. Again with the building man and the stuff on the top. The uh, the skylights and the vents and all that. 
It's insane. It really is. When you just look at it from afar, it looks totally normal. You know, it's not till you start digging below the surface, if you will, as you can really tell. But this little area right here looks really good, and I might have chosen the wrong car. That's 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 a tight fit. Tight. Got a dude down here overseeing some duties. Get this crossing complete with arms. These arms work. I missed it like a doof. But look at that, man. Three tracks. Level crossing. Yes. Yes, sir. Let's see. We got another consignee right here. I don't have them all dotted because, like I said, there's... There's probably well over 30 out here. This is Allied Building Products, so it's probably going to be like a bulkhead flat car, flat car, uh, center beam, something like that, maybe. Um, box car. There's another little bit headed out that way. Is that just, I think that's part of the Y that we were just on. N negative. Nope, that's something totally different. All right, we'll let the train go, hopefully, and, and be in peace wherever it's going at a high rate of speed. Again, the buildings, man. All these little AC units stuck up here. This is, the, this is one of the second largest places right here. This is, what is this, Foam X? Yes. Foam X. It's a, uh, a funky name, considering, you know. Foamers, Foamax, all that good stuff. Anyway, they get uh, roughly four tankers and three boxcars, so I got a couple of each sitting here. Got this rail line coming right across the concrete cement. I love that kind of stuff. Love the way that looks. Here's that uh, street that we were just on. Here's the line. Another one of these cozy little lines. Look at that, man. I really like stuff like this. Single track. Doesn't see heavy use. Kind of overgrown. That's, that's just one of those nice views. Oh, he's got the curb laid out right here. His customized cross box again. And these offices, man, they look good. They look really good the way they're laid out. Let's see, what do we got back here? There's so many, I cannot remember the name of them. Uh, let's see, that's Foamax. What do we got? Apple Corrugated, Union, uh, Kostikian, and Nap Napkek. Napsik. Nap Napchik. I don't know how you say that. Anyway, got another couple boxcars back here, and they back right up to this marsh. This is the... This area back here, uh, it's got several little waterways, but it's it's called Berry's Creek, and there's also Ackerman's Creek back here. There's probably some good fishing back here as well in real life. But uh, very nice. These places are massive, too. And again, you know, he... Just put all kinds of stuff together back here. Oh, look at that. <laughs> uh, again with the scene, a couple of dudes on their lunch break. Man, I'd put that darn picnic table back here looking out over the marsh. And trains, of course. Looking over the trains. A couple of trailers sitting there, either filled or ready to be filled. All right, where are we at? I'm getting lost. It's uh, it's tough remembering these. All right, that's PP and G glass over here. I think that's why I got a couple more box cars. Yeah, this one's got a uh, a bay as well, which is cool. Come right on in. Yep. So this is a glass company. Um, now they make glass. I don't think they ship it. So it's a consignee. So they receive. So I'm not entirely sure if it would be boxcars. It may be some kind of hopper with a, uh, a product 
inside of it that they use uh, maybe sand, <laughs> uh, silicate, something like that. They do make glass. It's, I think that's how glass is made, right? But this area right here, that is like some of the realest, best-looking marsh and creeks winding through a marsh um, that that I can remember ever seeing in uh, in Train Simulator. Looks really nice. Got a little footbridge. Get you to and fro. This over here, I think this is Route 17 or Highway 17-1. It pretty much follows the line up until about I-80, and I think it dead ends. Oh, shoot. We're going to check our paths. Hold up. All right, it's Broad Street. We're going to cross over up there. Because it's, it's double track through here, but I think it's mainly due to the consignees and, and the bit of freight that may be going on. But it, it's single tracks uh, up there, up yonder. Again, custom building. This is that uh, OG supermarket and some kind of brick building here. Not sure what that is. Little office. One of these is a, a car dealership. Or there, I think there's actually a couple of car dealerships over here. IRL. Alright, let's get back down here. Oh, thank you, computer. Some more custom buildings. These suckers are curved? Dang, sure are. Here's Broad Street. Minor Jeep? No Minor Man. I don't know if he's out here or not. Need to look. Always be looking. Alright, that's the bell obviously working. While we're here, it is a train sim. We'll watch a train go across, across it. Very nice. Morocco and cheeseburgers. Not sure what this is. They uh they look to maybe produce some sort of pipe. Is this on the I don't see anything. I'm not sure what they do. They they may not be rail served. It may be uh a trucking trucking thing so there's route 17 or highway 17 out there and all these houses up on this ridge too man that's uh it's gotta have a nice view out there I'm assuming that's why this station up here is called wood ridge but there's there's just a ton of detail back here and uh, as always I feel like I'm gonna miss something I most likely will look at this place that is not uh, yeah I was gonna say that's not that's not normal you know out of a, a one building asset doohickey how good that looks man you even got a light sticking out looks old whatever it is the uh the brick it's like some sort of maybe like a utility like a pump house type of deal or something i don't know what these are maybe they make bricks brickworks bricks brickworks gonna take a stab at it some peeps another minerman jeep with no minerman get back out on the line there yet, 20 minutes. Your American Hotel. If they're on my train, absolutely not. Going super slows. Alright, let's see. That's Barry Avenue. 
Let's see. So this is Carl Stats sighting. And then right up here we've got Ready Roll. Ready Roll. Got the town through here. And this, there, uh, there are some sports complexes over here, like a football field or track or something. I looked at that online uh, via GPS, so that's legit right there. Another retention pond right there. I don't know if that's natural or retention pond or what, but again, with the detail, the stuff placed everywhere. It's a good-looking parking lot. The bushes, the weeds... Like, this is it for me, like, personally. I love stuff like this. Just how, you know, green and weedy it is and overgrown. Just looking straight down there, that looks really nice. Alright, so Ready Raw. Did I pass that? I know I mentioned it. Yeah, it's right up here on the right. So... The train's hopping on to the single track there. There it is. So it branches off, runs right across the street. Got some more custom cross bucks. Now it is a food company. So we got some uh we got some reefers down here, naturally. Uh, I'm not sure what these tornado magnets are back here. Um, probably extra space. But it's a, a pretty large facility. And again, custom. All custom. It's amazing the, the hidden stuff you can find in here when you go looking. Like all these uh, garage bay doors that he places down. What's going on, buddy? And again, they got a view out of the back of here. Let me tell you. Another facility not rail served. May have been rail served at one point, but as far as I can tell, there's a fence that goes right down the side there, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say no. That's uh that's over the road goodies. Another nice crossing, Sanderson Avenue. And again, it's just, I've, I know I've said it like 12 and a half times, but the fact that this isn't the main line and it's just kind of an out of the way section of the route and it still looks this good and detailed, that's a, it's a big deal to me. Big deal. Less sightseeing, more train action for a minute here. Got Woodridge Station coming up anyway. Go up here and watch this sucker. There she is. I don't know, there's something about that side profile, watching a train, whether it be in the real world or in the sim. I've always like that angle. And pause. Alright, so let's see where we is. Did I pass the line? Yes, I did. All right, so that's Ready Raw, the uh, the meat meat place, and all the different trucks too. Man, he didn't just plop down the same friggin' truck over and over. You know what I mean? Like all kinds of different trucks, little box trucks, cab overs, this big. Chongus bastard right here. Big boy. Kinda big boy. 
or cab overs. I don't even know what that's from right there, honestly. Where the hell are those from? I bet that's a... Is that a custom deal? Dealio? No? Yeah? I don't know. But yeah, all kinds of stuff. Detail. Detail. Another Jeep. I see that Jeep and I can't help it. Like a squirrel to a bird feeder. Oh yes, look at this. Little creek running through here with the old bridge. That has got to be hand laid, hand sewn, if you will. As well, these planks running across here. Dude, that looks really good. Like it. Liking it. Run back here. Yeah, it's just, you could easily, man, if you served all of these, uh, some more custom buildings, I believe, yeah. You could easily spend, uh, like an hour and a half, maybe two, out here, if you served every one of these industries. Got some garbage on the ground, which looks about right. Got a couple of tankers, this place right here is pretty cool. It's got some pumps as well. Just placed a couple old Sherman Hill tankers down there. This is... Gotta unpause it. Where are we at? I keep getting lost. It's a, it's a maze out here. It's a flipping maze. Um, uh, that's it. Karlstadt. No. Food oils. This is uh, Karlstadt. The uh, the rails out here. The network. So something to do with oils. Maybe like uh, canola. Or peanut. Something like that. But this building looks really nice. It's got that little angled bit right there. Of course complete with all the, the ventilation and stuff up there. HVAC and all that good stuff. Got some more of the custom cross bucks back here. It's just everywhere you look, it's it's easy to get lost. People parking on the side of the street because, uh, you know, parking space is getting filled up quickly. The place over here. Let's see, it's Manhattan Press. Not entirely sure what they do there. I'm gonna be honest. I only researched uh, a couple of these because there are so many. Uh, ooh, that's a nice looking building. <laughs> wow. Is it, what is that? Is that upside down? I don't even know what I'm looking at. <laughs> but it looks good from the outside. It looks totally normal. As it should. No, oh, I was like, what is that sound? We know what that sound is. The evil forklift. Got some radio towers or something out there. But dude, it's just, it keeps going out here. As, as far as it can anyway, with the, uh, the protected area in the marsh back there. There's your rail line there. Let's see, it loops around right here. Ooh, look at that. That's tight. Really tight. Nice. Trash all over the ground. All right, here's the other line. Got a pipe sticking out here for this spur. Got a couple of hoppers in here again. It's it's one of these really cool little places that that got like extra detail times a hundred with the uh, the piping and ducting and all that stuff. Got some tanks up here. See that? So they're just what like water tanks, you know, in the asset library. But he made it look 
a hundred times better on top of that building. Just cool, man. Several more back here, and they cross another street. Got to watch where you're going driving back here, man. Especially on transfer day. Got some more tanks, some sort. Truck trailer on that lift right there. And look at that catty corner to bay right there. How about that? Nice. Nice. Creepy alleyway. We don't want to go down there. Another bridge. Holy crap. So there's two back here. I thought there was just the one. Look how good that looks, man. Ooh wee. Get down here, the uh, the troll view. That looks nice. Another facility. This one as well has got the uh, evacuation areas into the uh, awaiting tanks. Just a ton of stuff to do back here. It's not the biggest uh, branch line on the route. Um, not by a long shot, but it's probably got the most to do, I would say. And it's, I mean, it's a friggin' crisscross of iron. Like, look at that right there. <laughs> That's nuts. That is nuts. Couple more boxes. Boxy boys. I'm too far from the train. It's not letting me go no furthers. Son of a biscuit. Got another uh, reefer back there. A couple hoppets. And this back here, I think, is the newspaper. Um, I'm not sure how they haul that. So, of course, I just threw a couple boxcars back there. And it's got another uh, drivable, drive-in, drivable. Um, rail car bay, but I would, I would easily say not a single one of these buildings out here was just grabbed out of the asset library and plopped down. There is something with each and every one of these. It's a line going right back out here as well. All right, let's get back to the train. If I can find it, just look at the ridge. Look at the ridge. There it is. There you are. What is this? Maybe like a U-Haul rental facility. All right, so here is Woodridge Station right here. And again, complete with looking as real as as it can in the game uh, with what's given compared to real life the really real real pretty good sized platform too but that uh, unfortunately is is where the the scenery ends um, in this area up that way is uh, Teterboro over here is your Teterboro executive airport and there's there's like a big Walmart and Costco right off the line and um, it's a little bit more urban up that way, and then uh, I think it's I eighty up there. But it, it's pretty, you know, it's it's pretty darn nice for what's given right through here. Look at this here, you know. So, what what you got to work with out here? That's oh, these minor man jeeps. I keep thinking I'm gonna see them. This wall right here too. The plants, the uh, the vines, the kudzu, the creepers crawling up the wall. It's just a good look back here. It really is. And uh, we're still going, guys. It's... I cannot honestly remember the number of this video. It's like nine, maybe? But uh, we still got a couple more to do. So anyway, that is the Pascac Valley line and uh, the appropriate industries for the area. But um, that's it. That is going to be this video for now complete. 
As always, thank you for watching, guys. Take care, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.